It's Anthony Barnell's Wedding School. Oh! Ooh. It is really hot. It is tropical today. The sun is shining. There's not a cloud in the sky. But what is the most amazing thing? It's happening right in front of our eyes. We can't even see it. And that is the water cycle. Without this cycle, Storm, you wouldn't exist. I wouldn't exist. In fact, life on Earth wouldn't exist. So what exactly is involved? Well, let's discuss. Let's do this easy at home experiment. For it, all you need is a Ziploc bag. A sealable bag will work. And then we're gonna draw on that. So for that, you would need a marker, ideally a permanent marker. You can use blue, black, any color you want. And then you're going to fill it with some water. You are going to add some food coloring into the bottom. And then you're also going to tape it up to a sunny window or a sunny wall and then you're going to wait patiently as the water cycle happens in front of your very eyes. So, Storm, let's get started here. Sit, stay here. Okay, so to start things off, the sun. That plays a huge role in weather and in the water cycle. And there we have it, the big golden ball in the sky that sometimes seems to smile down on you. And that sun, is helping start this entire cycle. So down here, a lot of our planet is covered in water. So we have lakes, we have rivers, we have streams, and even inside of all of us, even inside of trees and storm, there is a lot of water. So in this case, this is a beautiful lake. And that sun is working with the lake. And it's creating this process called Evaporation. Evaporation. So all of that goes up into the sky and it's completely invisible. Water droplets, you can't even see them. They're in the air that we breathe. And then what happens when they get up into the sky? Well, the next step in this cycle is Condensation. Yes, I know it's very exciting stuff, but actually it is because these are the big clouds that you see forming up in the sky. Now what happens when these clouds get so big and so heavy and so dense with condensated water vapor? Well, you end up with rain. You can get hail, you can get snow, but that is a very important part of this water cycle. And that, anybody? Want a sip? That's a very important part. That is precipitation. Precipitation. I'm running out of room. I'm gonna get my wife to draw a really nice one and that's the one we're gonna to use to show you exactly what happens. So what happens when precipitation falls from the clouds? Well, it sometimes falls right back into the lake, but other times it falls up on mountains and hills. And sometimes there are grasses, sometimes there are even trees. But a lot of that either goes right back out from the tree or you see this coming down the mountainside, and that is what we call runoff. So runoff goes right back into the lake, and you can see how this cycle works. It creates all the weather that we know today, and it is going to happen inside of this bag. So let's get to it. We're gonna open the bag up and pour some water in just like that. And then we are going to add a drop or two of food coloring, just like that. And watch what happens. All of that blue water at the bottom, you can see it there, that is your lake. Make sure you get a good seal up at the top. Seal it up, and now we are going to take this to a sunny window, a 
sunny wall and watch what happens within about an hour or so. You are going to see the evaporation. No, you're not. You don't see evaporation, gotcha. You're gonna see the condensation. Maybe not clouds, but you'll definitely see little water droplets. And then you're gonna see those water droplets fall back down into your lake. And that is precipitation and then runoff as well. Now, if you wanted to add a jar or maybe a cup, you could put it right inside. You can add, he never, he never makes it through the entire experiment, but you can add some salt into that jar and then add some water and put this inside and that could be like an ocean, salty water in the ocean. But do you know that evaporation happens in the ocean, but it actually only takes up pure water. So even though there's salt water in this jar, the water that'll come back down through your cycle will be completely pure and drinkable. So that's a little twist you can do on this experiment. Now earlier, we, uh, I mentioned my wife, yeah, she's a bit more of an artist than I am. She put this up on the wall and look what happens as you see that entire process working. If you are doing that at home, make sure you send us your pictures, your videos, storm at globalnews.ca. We'd love to see them. Have a great day. Thanks for watching Global News Weather Lesson with Anthony Farnell. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more weather lessons like this.